Hi, welcome back to my learning Hadoop video series. In my first video, I have shown how to install Linux, that is CentOS, on VMware Player. Okay, as of here. So, just to recap that, I have a Windows 7 laptop and I have installed VMware Player on that. And on VMware Player, I have installed CentOS. Okay, here it is. You can see this is running VM, CentOS VM running on Windows 7. And uh, what I'm going to show in this video is just download Java from Oracle and install on this virtual machine. Okay, let's go forward and install Java on it. I'm going to do is just directly I'll Oracle Java download. Okay, I'm going to download Java 6 and here it is development kit. I accept a license and I need this one 64 bit. Okay, okay, and here. If you have a username, you just give that and start downloading. If you don't have, just sign up for a free Oracle Web account and you can download after that. Okay, so just um, I'm going to show. Okay, okay, uh, so here you see I have given my username and password. After that, this showing just okay just this is popped up and you save the file once you save the file okay here it is downloading and this will this is going to download into okay here you can just browse your files okay file system you can just okay his user have him okay logged in and you can see the download folders here okay it's not yet finished <clears throat> okay it's complete now so what I'm going to do is say thus okay here it is we are here and see we go to downloads and if you see this one as far okay so okay this is not executable if you can see this this is not executable yet. so what I'm going to do is make it executable okay now you see this is executable now i can directly execute this uh, binary file to install java so run this jdk file and just run it okay you can see this is going to create my jdk folder okay here it is it is just installed on JDK 1.6. This, this, this the folder it is just got created. Okay, so you can see you just uh, download it, and okay, it just got installed here. So what I'm going to do is just because if I installed it here, this is not this is. Uh, going to work for me only so if you want this uh, Java because this is going to be necessary for all the users so what mainly I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this I'm going to okay what I'll do is I'll just copy this file JTK to somewhere here local okay 
okay here is the permission denied so what i'm going to do this sudo cp jdk file to user local file okay I don't know if you have created a half sudo for this. Okay, what is here is I have not created the sudo account for HD user. Okay, just let me create that. Let me stop this video for a second and let me create because it's going to be unnecessarily. okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to do it's going to log in as a super user okay here it is and uh, now if you see i'm logged in as a root okay so i'm going to be that f so i'm copying that file home it's the hd user downloads and this file to user local okay user cd user local and if you see this is here now okay So uh, now because I have uh, just logged in as root and, and I have now all the permissions to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this file again here. Okay, here we go. So if you see jdk 1.6.0 okay this is installed here okay now what I'm going to do is just setting some path and class path for all the users in the system okay so if you see this so here this is the path for our java home or you call it jdk home okay and what i'm going to set this open another terminal now so go to super user okay let's do us again okay go to etc dot profile okay here if i set the path then it's going to affect the whole system and all the users okay so what i'm going to just edit this file okay and add export java home equal to okay user local jdk 1.6 0 let's go 45 so this is going to be my java home okay and also i'm going to change the path variable okay path here i can use the java form slash bin
and also I can set the class path here. see that here CT lib okay so I'm going to use this uh, tool star jar okay and DT jars are mostly I need live DT dot jar and And okay, sorry. Java home lib tools dot jar. Okay. So now you see, uh, I have uh, set up the Java home. I have set the path, and I have set up the class path to these two jar files. Okay, I am done here. So save this file okay and what I'm going to do is just okay re-login okay just if I re-login this will take effect okay and just I'm going to log out as du user okay and just re-login okay uh, I can just check whether this my Java home has been set or not you see it is set and if a path I can set whether how whether it has been set or not okay just path if you see that you see my path has been added and also echo class path you see dt jar this is dt jar and tools are there, both are in place okay I'm, I'm I'm done here so just to test whether Java is installed properly or not okay just I'm with I've logged in as SD user okay Java C uh, Java just Java version okay see here this is a 1.6.45 build okay this is the one which I installed okay and uh, Java C it's running this is the compiler for Java and we are ready to go see this is from from this position it is running okay We've, now we are ready to go and uh, for the next video but I'll stop here in this video uh, this video shows uh, just to recap how to install Java on uh, CentOS okay here I have downloaded Java from Oracle and just uh, I downloaded the bin file, I ran it and, and uh, what I did is I set the Java home environment variable and I set the path and I set the class path. Okay, that's all and for now and thanks for watching and we'll be meeting in the next video again. Thank you.